We do have the song. It's a very simple song, but we all love it. <laughs> it just goes da 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 DC Gales, da 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 DC Gales. <laughs> it's it's a fun song. Curling is um, it's kind of like baseball, lacrosse, and field hockey mixed together. So it's like the epitome of all things like American sports mixed together, which is kind of cool. Well, I'm a fourth generation here, um, Irish descent. My dad's side's from Cork, my mom's side's from Donegal. So when I started um, getting involved with the Irish Culture Club at my college, which brought me to know about the DC Gales, which brought me to the games, and then from there, kind of just like fell in love with the sport. Now I just don't want to get rid of it ever. <laughs> I love it so much. So the DC Gales uh, are an Irish sports club. They provide an opportunity for Irish people and anyone else who wants to play to play Irish sports. Uh, traditional Irish sports of hurling, Gaelic football, and then camogie, which is the uh, ladies' version of hurling in the DMV area. When I tell my friends who aren't Irish or don't know about it, about the sport I play, they're just like, what do you play? That's so cool. Uh, yeah, when my American friends ask me about hurling, um, it takes a good bit of explaining. Um, we usually describe it as a cross between field hockey and lacrosse, uh, but there are the inevitable jokes as well. Um, a lot of people confuse it for curling, uh, which is Olympic ice sweeping. A lot of people think it's uh, caber tossing, which is the Scottish uh, telephone pole throwing. And then there are the inevitable college over drinking jokes as well. The DC Gales is more than just a sports club. Uh, there is a important social aspect to it as well. Um, this comes from its uh, roots being an Irish sport. The teams, the clubs are based on the parish. You're with the, your family and friends that you would have grown up with. It would have been just like working during the day, going out in the evening to play hurling or Gaelic football, and then stopping down in the pub or going out. It just gets the feeling of being back home. You know, you're playing the game on the grass. You're you're uh, meeting up with Irish people. We have relationships with the Irish Embassy and the um, Irish community. It's more than just just the games, really. The role of the game is to obviously score more points than the other team. It's a field sport. It's the fastest field sport in the world. The goals kind of look like rugby goals, where it's the soccer goal with the football uprights. You can kick the ball if it's on the ground. If it's on the ground and you want to get it in your hand, you have to lift it up with your stick and then catch it. If it's in the air, you can just grab it. It's not supposed to be like you tackle people, but it happens. <laughs> well, we won the championship last year, so we, we traveled up to Boston last year, and uh, we played Milwaukee, then we played Philadelphia, and we beat those guys, and then we played uh, another game, and then the final, we beat uh, Chicago. So. It was great to beat a team from a big city where hurling would be strong. You know, they have six or seven hurling teams, so we were really, really proud to win the trophy and bring it back, and uh, it's still here. My first two months of playing, I played over in Dublin. So I played with the club, and that's where I got all my training from for initially. I've gone back, um, two years ago I went back with an American friend of mine, and we went to go watch hurling matches. We, we took in uh, two matches and we were actually able to train with a club over there. I still have relatives that live in Ireland. Uh, we still have the family farm that's been in the family for generations. This is definitely a part of my life because of my Irish culture. Like, I probably if I wasn't Irish, and I was just like, oh, that's a cool sport, but I wouldn't really be interested in it, but I just have this interest in my culture, so it drew me to the sport, and now I play it and love it, so. <laughs>